afternoon. Um, I am really uh, glad people took time out to, to probably have some good questions going into this new year. Uh, the one thing I want to stress is we have quite a lot of, uh, there's going to be some changes, obviously. We've all had changes in our lives, and our biggest thing that we have to do is not only give you that nutritional and, and taste and, and food that what you expect, but also there's going to be a, twi we've always been ahead as far as safety, but this year the safety is going to be different. We really, um, we're, we're up against something. It's something that we haven't done. It's something that's it's new for a lot of people. Um, I've been in this business a long time and, and this is new for me, but um, our company has a very good laid out plan. And when we, as the university moves, as the university gets together and kind of, you know, there's certain things that are in flux right now. And as soon as we get to that point, um, we are going to have, I think, a, it's a good, safe, nutritious, it's not, um, you know, the environment is going to be good. Um, there are going to be some changes. I mean, you've seen it. I'm sure you all had to deal with the social distancing and, you know, looking at tables and two here, one here, you know, all these kind of things. And, and everybody's had to make some kind of sacrifice. But if we do it in a, because this affects a group, that means we all have to work together as a group. Um, and I want you to think of it as we are not doing things to you if you see something if we change something in dining we're doing things for you because this you know as we you know safety being paramount i mean and we have guidelines that are set by you know the the governor i mean there are certain people that we have to follow it's not just someone saying um hey can you uh you know why can't you this or why can't you that sometimes a lot of times when we're trying to get that information out it's you know the governor's state standards are to provide safe you know our safe environment for eating we have to follow those so if i can't answer your question a hundred percent i'll let you know it's because i just don't have that information right now um but most of the ones that i can i'll try to answer them as truthfully and honestly as i can and uh if i can't i will try to get that information to you as soon as possible And well, we'll start with um, any questions that you all may have. Um, Y'all have any questions about the meal plans? Um, Mr. Solomon, would you mind sharing um, about the different meal plan options? We have meal plans for this year, basically just up to the um, You know, we have, you know, there'll be the, the all you can eat plans, there's six of those, um, basically the same amount as far as whether they're 10 meals, 20 meals, 30 meals in your, uh, of course, your uh, add-on as, as far as your dining dollars and things like that, whether you've got, you know, Sunbucks and so on. Um, those are going to change. Um, those plans are out there. Um, the only thing that change is going to be is in the delivery of them. Um, if you need have any questions, is maybe you don't understand how those, those extra dollars can be spent, um, understanding exactly uh, hours of the dining hall. Uh, what does it mean if I, you know, what can I, can I take into the dining hall? What can I take out of the dining hall? Um, your, your biggest things, those those things moving from year to year really aren't going to change a lot. Um, if you have questions, because maybe you don't understand maybe the definition of it or something like, well, what does this mean? Um, I'd love to answer those questions. I mean, there's a lot of them, um, things there, so I really don't want to throw them out, but if there's something that you, you know, want to know or you don't understand it goes with dining, let me see if I can answer those for you. Yeah, one of the questions we see a lot is, uh, what is DCB and what does that mean? Okay, you're declining, that's, that's short for declining balance. And your DCB bucks are like, um, let's say the way they work is, let's say you have a relative or yourself, you can do it too, and they want to give you uh, $10, $15 as a gift or 20 and they want to put that on, on declining balance. Um, that's, that's something you can use anywhere. You can use that, um, you know, uh, if you want to get coffee, let's say uh, at, at Starbucks, or if you want to go over to um, over to Docs and get something there, those dollars can be used anywhere, um, and it works just like a credit card, kind of like a declining balance on a credit card. So if you have, let's say, two hundred dollars in there, you're just using it as this pulling that money out. That's what that's what it's doing. So it's on the same premise as that for DCB. And um, the plans, depending on which one you buy, have DCB associated with them, and those declining balance. Are, are, go through, are good for the whole year. All right, we've got a couple of questions coming in from the chat. Um, what restaurants are offered in Baztec? In Baztec right now, um, the, the only thing that, of course, Slim's, which was new last year, but for this year, it's going to be which which will stay in place, 
We have Bonadilla, the pizza, um, Jerry's, which is our uh, hamburger style, and Slim Chickens, and of course, Starbucks. Those, those concepts, we were looking to change one of those concepts, but when the COVID thing came up, we, we really put most of our focus on safety and that, kind, and, and that. so that, that's kind of taking a back seat. Um, could you elaborate on what all you can eat means? Okay, all you can eat, the way this works, and, and, I, and, I, and it's, a, it's a good question, that somebody asked it. The way it works is you, were, you have an all you can eat plan, then you can come into the, the dining hall since we serve that whole, we're, we never, we're never closed per se. We open at 7, 7 a.m. in the morning and we close at 7 p.m. During that time, you can come back and, and just all you care to eat in the dining hall. Some people get confused and think, oh, well, that means I can go in and make a couple of sandwiches and put in my book bag, or I can get me some fruit, things like that. That, does, that doesn't work like that. Um, the way those plans are there, they're just if you have um, your class schedule and you don't, your, your time frame, maybe you have a job or something you're trying to do and you just can't hit those uh, certain times for meals. And so this gives you a little bit more to work with and that, that's how that works. All right, then the next question that came in is, what is the difference between the two dining halls? Um, I believe they may be referencing the Chambers Cafeteria and Baztec. Okay, good question. Um, Baztec is what we call retail. And that's similar as if you were going into a thing and you're, uh, there's a, a sandwich place in there. There's, you know, and they, most of the dollars that are spent in there, you can use meal trade in there, but you can also use um, just regular cash, credit card. Um, Though it's, it's a uh, declining balance, any of your it accepts a lot more different types of, of payment. Um, your other in the dining hall is just basically what you would call your that's where the, the bulk of let's say your meal plans work. Um, if you're coming into school, you're you, you're managing your money to a point, and you're saying, Hey, I got this, this, and this, you're going to be eating your meals there. Um, you still have you know options to eat, you know, your, your meal exchange over in the other, but for the most part. That's what the dining, that's the two, the difference is the two. One's more retail focused and one is, is not a retail focus. All right, and we have a parent asking, um, how much is a meal swipe um, if their student runs out of meal swipes? And um, can you talk about meal exchanges to the on-campus restaurants? Okay, what is the value of meal? Wipe if they, I, I, can you just repeat that, please? Yes. How much is a meal swipe um, if she runs out of swipes? And then can you talk about meal exchanges to the on campus restaurants? Okay. The, the, um, if you run out of swipes, you just have to buy more of a meal plan. There's no, um, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, if you run out, you run out. The meal plan value of it is different. If, I mean, as far as the value, depending on, of course, what plans you buy, if you buy more, of course, it brings the cost down. If you buy less, the price goes up. Also, with the, um, it, that, that's how that works as far, I, mean, I hope that answers that question. The other, as far as that, what I understand is on the, on the meal trade, what, what is the value or I'm trying to get the. Yes, um, so the specific question was, can you talk about meal exchanges to the on-campus restaurants? Okay, so, yeah. okay, so your meal exchanges are gonna be, you have a choice of two of those in, those, in certain uh, time frames, And those meal exchanges is more set up for when you can't, when you've purchased a meal plan. And because of, let's say you're studying or your working habits, you, you got a lot going on, you get the freedom of then going over to the, um, the other place and maybe that's open for you and then you can, that works out better for you. All right, next question is, how does the unlimited meal plan work? Um, yeah, how does the unlimited meal plan work? Okay, unlimited meal plans just mean that you're gonna go through as many times as you'd like from the time we open until the time we close. So. If you, let's say you're studying for an exam and you don't, and you've got the unlimited plan and you had something you didn't do, you just say, oh, I got like two minutes to run over to the, the dining hall and eat. Well, this gives you a little bit more freedom. So you look at that and you say, okay, I, I'm that the doors do not shut. So therefore I can go over and I, you know, I can, I can get this stuff done. Just put any pressure on me and I can go eat. So 
you know, you're eating breakfast, let's say, you know, we open at seven o'clock. So you got seven till roughly about 930 because we have to turn that room over now to get ready for lunch. So now lunch, you're going 1030, quarter of 11 until almost four o'clock. And then we have to turn it over again for dinner. But that whole time, there's always offerings there. And the next question is, if you don't use your meal plan that often, do you get that money back in cash or does it get put on to the next semester? The way, the way meal plan works, let's say you had a plan and it had 10 meals on it a week. And you only ate eight of them. You'll lose those plans. You lose those meals. Okay. That's how, that's how that works. Those plans do not buy, you know, they, it's kind of like, um, I'm trying to find something similar to it. Uh, I have uh, maybe a phone plan that's where if you have 100 minutes and you only use 80, the next you, you can't carry those over. Same thing with meal plans. Um, now your, your dining dollars or anything, those uh, declining balance, that goes through the whole school year. So if let's say you had $200 when declining balance and you only use 50 of it in November and for some reason you just didn't use it, that money is still there until, you know, it doesn't stop until the end of the school year. But meal plans are only for that whatever you have allotted for that week, and what what play, if you it's a it's kind of a use them or, or lose them kind of scenario. Right. All right. Uh, the next question is: How do I reload more DCB? Can I do that at any time throughout the semester? You can do it at any time. Um, school is in charge of that. We don't. Um, some of our other schools, you may know someone who goes to a, managed by Chartwells. And you can usually do it online. Um, you would have to go over, uh, I think it's the uh, room is up at Brown, and you have to add your money there. They, they accept payment. We can't accept payment on our website. Next question is, does, uh, does unlimited meal plan allow for meal exchange? Yes, you'll have several meal exchanges on there. Um, also, those plans have, uh, I, have, I know I haven't got the contract back yet. Right. I think there were 10 meals on there that were then 10 guest wipes also. So you get your, you know, if you had unlimited, you're going to be able to get, let's say, if you ate breakfast, you're going to be able to use two more swipes later that day. And you have some, there's some um, guest passes on there too. So let's say your parents or a good friend or somebody comes in to visit, you can use that for that also. We had a couple of questions come in about menus and dining locations and hours. And over in the chat, I've listed um, the Chartwell's website um, where you can find um, that information there. And then the next question is, can I change a meal plan if I find out I do not need an unlimited meal plan? Is there a deadline to change a meal plan? You can't, those deadlines are set up by the school. So if you have purchased a meal plan already, or if you are getting ready to, you need to ask, you purchase your meal plan, you need to make that known and they will tell you. There's certain parameters in there and there's also a time when you can't change. So if that's even thinking about that, you wanna do that right off the bat. You gotta just kinda of, you know, get in there and, kind of, and, and look at it and say, you know, and make a decision quick. I, I don't know what the exact time frame is because we we're not in charge of that part of it. We couldn't, you can't change your meal plans through us, that kind of thing. Right. My understanding um, is that you can change your meal plan um, <clears throat> up through the fifth day of classes. So okay. that first week, um, you'll have to change those those meal plans. Um, if you um, if you live on campus, um, you can change your meal plan through the housing portal. Otherwise, um, I believe you need to go through student accounts to change your meal plan. And again, that's only through the, the fifth day of class. After that, um, that is the meal plan that you will have through the semester. Um, and you can add to it. You just can't minimize it is my understanding. All right. Um, next question is, will eco boxes be offered in the fall? I read about them on the tech website. Can you explain how this works? Yes, this is a really good program. And what it is, these are eco-friendly boxes that you pay for. They cost $5. So you pay for the box, get, go get your meal and leave and go eat it at your, at your convenience. When you come back, you've already paid for the box. So you don't have to buy another one. 
but you just hand us your dirty one, we provide you with a new clean one, and you can do the same thing. Uh, you still have to charge, it says you're still gonna have to pay for the meal or the swipe, so let's say you had a meal plan, you're still gonna have to swipe for it, but at the end of the school year, you turn the box back in and you get your $5 back. This is, the box is basically cost us, I, uh, without tax, like $4.99. Um, and that's basically covering the cost of the box. The, um, a lot of them don't come back. Uh, it's a good program. Some people are confused by this and think that, okay, I'm gonna go get the box and then I'm gonna come to the dining hall, I'm gonna go eat everything, boom, 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 and then I'm gonna fix me a box and then take that with me to go. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, it's, that's a kind of a misconception. But your, the idea is if you can't stay in the dining hall and eat, this is a good option for that. And our only requirement is, is if it can fit in the box, it can go out. You just gotta be able to close the lid, that's all. We're good. I mean, if, now I've seen some very imaginative things, trust me, I, you know, not be, you'd be surprised. But the, uh, I'm, all, I'm all with it. Um, and and that, that's one thing that we, but it's a good program. Um, it works well. It definitely, when people are in a hurry, um, it, it helps out a lot. Yeah, that's definitely a good feature that some of us staff members. <laughs> a lot of staff, most of our schools do do. Yes. All right. So next question um, is from a parent. If the meal plan is 10 meals per week, um, 10 have to be eaten that week. Um, week one equals eight and week two equals 12 is not allowed. So I think what they're asking is when it's 10 meals per week, it's either you use those 10 meals in that week or you lose them, correct? correct. That is correct. All right. Then the next question is, is meal exchange two meals per day every day? Two meals per day every day, one day on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, one on Saturday and Sunday, okay. All right, um, then the next question is, do any restaurants in town use DCB? We don't have any signed up yet. We are trying, we, we've reached out to some of them and uh, I'll be honest, the restaurants we reached out to, they kind of, um, they didn't understand. I mean, it can work for everybody. A lot of our schools, we have over, in just our colleges in the United States, we have right at 230 colleges. I mean, we have a medium-sized school like Tech, but, you know, we have Arc um, uh, Texas A&M is one of our schools. Um, the University of Miami is one of our schools. Um, these big schools, LSU, um, they have really worked and partnered with local businesses. And we are all good for that. We, we, we like it. We know that sometimes, I, I mean, it, you just get, you want to change. And it's your money and you want to have some more freedom with it, some more options. And I've been out in the community, talk to people. I just have not been able to find anybody to get on board. Um, I've reached out to some uh, faculty members who have relationships with some business owners, and maybe in the future we can do that. We're, we're game for that. We definitely like to see it. All right. And then, oh, going back to the eco boxes, um, how do students go about purchasing an eco box? All you have to do is come into the, uh, the cashier stand at the front of the restaurant and just um, the, the cashiers there, they have them and they'll sell them to you. And they'll give you, um, by the time you come in, they'll have some uh, plastic silverware just wrapped and glass, uh, you know, a cup and all that stuff for drinking. And that's at the Chambers Cafeteria, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Um, are we allowed to bring food storage to take food out? And I believe the answer to that is no, unless no. It's the eco box. Yeah. yeah, just the eco box. That's something that some people have. Um, and, and I'll admit, if I... Here, let's say I was a freshman. I've never seen this kind of dining type of thing. Mm -hmm. And I would say, well, I paid for it. I can, I don't want to use your box. I want to use my box. It, it just isn't allowed. Um, mm -hmm. It's just part of the parameters. The school is set up, the, the meal plan that we manage. Um, and that's something that's just not going to change. So you got, you cannot bring your own in. Um, they, it, you, know, you just have to use the boxes that are provided. All right. Let's see. I've got a lot of questions coming in. So I'm trying to... Okay to get through all of them. Um, are the dining halls open on the weekend? Yes, they are. We always open, we, have, we, we change the hours a little bit. Um, we're open for brunch. Um, Saturday and Sunday, the only days that we close in between service. Uh, we usually open between 10 and 10.30. We, those hours are uh, being done right now. But let's say we open at 10.30, we usually close at one o'clock. 
So we offer, and brunch is a little bit different because we offer breakfast and of course, you know, some lunch items in there, more of a substantial. Then we close and clean, and then we open up again for dinner at 4.30. And then we had a follow-up question to the meal exchanges. It's two meals per day every day. Um, I believe your answer was um, two meal exchanges Monday through Friday, and then one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Is that correct? I, my impression was we exchanged it to one meal on Saturday and Sunday, but let me, I can check, I can check on that. Okay. Okay, if the, if the website says it, then we can, we'll definitely, and then that's it. I heard that there was talk about that, so I, I will take care gotcha. of that. Yeah, and that's a good, that's a, a good opportunity for us to share. So um, the rates for the new academic year have not been um, approved or voted on yet. Um, like Mr. Solomon mentioned, um, the contract is currently under review for the new academic year um, and the Board of Trustees will vote on those rates um, here in the next couple weeks. And so once the rates for the new academic year are available, um, those will be posted on the student accounts website. All right, so we have one lot, we have one minute left until we need to end for the next session. Um, so feel free um, to reach out to Mr. Solomon um, or any of the Chartwell staff, if you have any questions, um, you can find them through um, the Arkansas Tech website, atu.edu, um, and then through the Tech A to Z feature. Um, and then, let's see, a couple of reminders. Um, if you haven't already registered for classes, be sure to schedule your academic advising appointment um, so you can get um, advised and know what classes you need to take for the summer or for the fall. And then um, tomorrow, we'll be sending out notification about our new uh, GoTo ATU app. And that's an app for students just like y'all who are getting ready to come to Arkansas Tech. Um, so y'all can start meeting each other, um, making friends, asking questions, getting more information um, to help y'all get prepared um, for being students here. So thank y'all again so much for joining. Mr. Solomon, thank you so much for all your um, information. Oh, go ahead. I, I know there's a lot of questions coming up, I don't know if I answered everybody's. Um, I was, if you go to the website, there's a lot of information on there. Um, also, uh, you can reach out to me at any time. I will, you know, I answer all emails and believe me, students send a lot of emails my way. It, I can, it gives me sometimes, and not, we're in a quick time frame here, but where I can get you the answers. And if I don't have that answer, I can get it to you. Mm -hmm. So especially parents, you know, if you want, you know, there, you have a concern, let me get the answer to you. You can reach out to me at any time. Um, I don't know. Uh, should, my email should be on the website and, you know, reach out anytime. I'll be more than happy to answer more follow-up questions. If you have anything, get information to you. I want to thank everybody. <laughs> yes, <laughs> again, and hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.